Here's another citrus pest. This is Chris at GrowQuest doing a service call. And, um, darn it. A little hard to hold this right here. You have citrus woolly aphid. And you can see it looks like this little cotton candy Q tip mess on the back of the leaf and the ants are just having a field day with this because it's just crapping all over the place. And again, member of the Homoptera family, so ants love the honeydew and they're farming these things everywhere on this little citrus tree. There's some babies right up here and then this is the adult population and it's just all little q-tip fuzz, lint fuzz type stuff. If I had a better camera you could see the ants tending to the uh, to the poop and the uh, wool, cotton woolly aphids on the other leaf. I'll get a specific pest name for this because it, I'm just tossing out the common name that people use. They, they do have specific botanical names that are important or Latin names that are important. Um, my guess is that this can be easily controlled with um, spinosad or insecticidal soap, especially with insecticidal soap with a mixture of pyrethrins in it. The plant also has some San Jose scale on it. So, being as the property has um, a good, at this point, six major citrus pest problems, we'll have to look at the a comprehensive solution and a management plan for the next 12 months to keep this from reoccurring and becoming a greater infestation. But again, citrus, woolly aphid, that's what gives it this little cottony mess. And believe it or not, there's other similar pests that have the same appearance. There's some white flies that have that appearance. So you really need to make close examination. If you ever feel the need to take these things to a nursery, please always take them in a Ziploc baggie. Just don't walk into the nursery uh, carrying the branch around and asking what the pest problem is. You're really going to piss someone off. But uh, most retail nurseries, they just hold it in and won't say anything. Myself, I just throw you off the property until you get the hell out of there and never come back again. Because really, we want some people brain power visiting. We just don't want you bringing all the pests around.